everyone this is Christy today I'm going to show you my suitcase mini album look I love it I'm so happy with this suitcase look this is the mini album you can see on the sides and this is how it looks at the bottom and I just use for the construction of the mini album eight file folders then I use some cardstock for mats and tags and uh, paper and this paper pad is from Inglob Arts and I was inspired in making this suitcase for the colors and the vintage style of the paper and here is the paper that I use it's um, from Inno Greeting and it's right here look at the designs it has a uh, gold accents it's very very pretty okay and I use it all <laughs> then I also use this die from in love arts as well and this one right here that is a set of four dice okay and all the links will be in the description box and this one is from Tim Holtz and this one as well and right here there is a satin ribbon that I just um, make a small bow and here are some metal embellishments that I had in my stash this is like a lock and this one is a vintage key this is very easy to make and you can use any color of paper and you can make it more modern or a different style more shabby chic so I'm going to show you how it looks inside and here is how it looks see right here it's um, covered with the paper and you can barely notice that it's a file folder I made a pocket up here this is from the paper collection then I use some dies from in love arts right here and this is from the paper so I didn't um, mix with any other collection it's everything comes in the paper even the alphabet up here that I put it together and I use the scraps to make these extra tags so it looks so so cute right here says amazing and see the back you can put a picture in there so right here I put a big um, card I will say a card but it's a uh, one eight and a half by eleven for the in half so you have a lot of space for pictures and the album is going is open this way so um, I think you have more space for pictures if you just put it this way and also because this album is going to be like this all the time so you want the tags everything um, put it in this direction right so the next page look at this so 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 beautiful and I call this one a triple picture slide frame and as you can see it opens and you have a big room for three pictures in there see and then it's easy to close see and I will make the tutorial of this frame in a separate video so then you open right here and okay you have up here a pocket and I'm going to pull the uh, tag look this tag is from the paper pad so so beautiful the paper is kind of thin but um, the decoration the um, images in the paper are so beautiful I love it so right here there is the pocket and then this one goes down and you have room for pictures in there here too and then right here this is how the page is decorated so up here there can be a big picture and I use the um, die cuts right here using the dies from Inglove Arts and I decorated all of the tabs from the um, file folder so then you open and here is another page see and you can even get and you can get the corners in the paper pad as well then in this side right here I just made this um, belt and this is the um, alphabet that says love and you open and you have more room for pictures see a lot of room for pictures 
then in the next page right here this is how it looks okay for a picture right here and, and you can do some journaling up here the paper is so beautiful <laughs> and right here is in black so i don't know if i'm going to put a big picture or maybe two so i just save it like this then right here i have two um pages decorated this one is a decoration from the paper and i made a pocket right here and as you can see right here is the alphabet i just put dream and i made a tag here is the tag and another small tag that you can do some journaling see And right here on the top, I'm going to open it. You can see I made spaces for more pictures. And as you can see, it has for four, one, two, three, four. And then you open to the other side and you have two more. So this one is like this, okay? Four pictures and two more. And this one at the front that you can put a small picture or quote or something, okay? And in the next page, I decorated again with another tag from the paper collection. And right here, I left the space for another picture. And this one is glue, okay? So it has room for journaling up here. Then you put this one down and here is more space for journaling decorated this is again the alphabet that i put together and i just put two mats right here for pictures see and this one and i use my um decorated scissors right here to um just add some scrap of paper and decorated the pages okay then in the next page it's just empty okay and i can uh, put mats and put the pictures and the size that i choose then right here it has another pocket see and this is a beautiful pocket that comes with the paper collection and right here is the pocket and you open and you can put two pictures here or just one then again i use the die cuts right here and just make um space for journaling and then here is again the uh, alphabet and here is i'm gonna close this one and here is another mat that i put in there because i wanted to use this one these corners i just decorated with it and then in the next page as you can see i made another pocket right here and i just use the alphabet and put joy and for this pocket this one comes with a paper as embellishment i just put another tag so beautiful tag and then this card that can hold a picture here and here see and then right here in this page i just um, made an um, envelope using cardstock and i decorated with this flower that came in the paper collection and you open it has some velcro in there and i use the scraps of paper to make these mats and um, that can be used for pictures and um, journaling right here see and a picture at the back then right here pictures pictures see and some journaling up here and maybe a small picture here so i try to use everything all of the scraps then right here um this is a space for a big picture and i just use the alphabet and just put memories in there 
then right here as you can see a big space for more pictures then these two pages are the same and as you can see I decorated with the scraps on one side and I use a die from In Love Arts. I'm going to show you in the tutorial all the dies and I'm going to put all the links in the description box. And these two are the same. Okay, and I'm going to open just one. You open like this and then you have room up here for pictures. Okay, and one more. So you have room for four pictures in, in this one, okay? Both of them are the same. Then you just open to the next page. And again, you have room for a picture. Then you have small space for journaling. Put it down, more space for pictures. And this beautiful paper for more pictures in there. Then this is how it looks on the top. And for the last part, okay, I just put a mat right here and I decorated again, gluing a tag that came in the collection right here, the tag. And this is the mat and I just glue it in there. And another pocket. And here is the word cherish that I put with the alphabets. And again, right here, I just put Another big mat, eight and a half by 11, okay? For more pictures and two tags that I made with the scraps. See, look, so beautiful. And this one is another one. This one came in the paper that says wish, and that's it. And this is the back. And this is my suitcase and I really love it. And you can use it as a decoration and it's so cute that you can give this one to your best friends, family. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> so the tutorial is going to be in another video and also the frame that I show you in the first page is going to be separate. Okay, so stay tuned for the tutorials and I hope you like this suitcase as much as I love it. Thank you very much for watching my videos, for your likes, your comments, and for subscribing to my channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.